Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with a long overdue video about my Enigmatica 2 series, which has been kind of on hold actually. I haven't given up on it. Although, it's been a while since I put an episode out. But, uh, I got reminded that a few months ago I was asked in a comment if I could make like a, a list of mods that I added to the pack that I basically just added in because I found them to be a bit more enjoyable. Oh, my mob farm's running. Okay. I can see the damage pop up through the wall. That's, uh, yeah, that's not great. But, uh, so, well, here's that video. Now, I'm going to get through my base here and I'm going to show off, like, where each mod is and so on and so forth, right? So, obviously, refined storage. Um, main reason is I just prefer that to to Light Energistics, especially since I also installed Reborn Storage. So, I have this gigantic auto crafter. And these are all just basic crafting recipes that I put in here. Now, the cool thing is, with this size of unit, if you put enough of the, uh, the crafting CPUs into there, it becomes stupidly fast. Because I don't like waiting if I don't... If I don't have to wait, I don't want to wait. So, I mean, that's the thing right there. But uh, obviously, refined storage, reborn storage, um, RS, or refined storage uh, add-ons, I think it is. It gives you the... Uh, what was it? The wireless terminal you can bring up. Wireless grid, sorry. Another one of the big ones is actually through this door here. And immersive technology, right? Well, immersive technology hasn't been updated since like 2017. There is a fork of it, however. Which is a, well, immersive tech, I should say. Immersive technology is the fork of immersive tech. Updated, uh, stamped out a few bugs, so on and so forth, so. Um, it was recommended in the GitHub that, uh, that the pack creator should, you know, swap it out for this, but it is actually honestly a pain. I can understand that. Putting it in here, it, I did have to configure a few things. Like, one thing is the uh, turbines generate a lot less power. <laughs> a lot less power. Uh, this thing is putting out uh, 12,000 right now, as opposed to uh, in the past. I think I've gotten like 40k plus out of a turbine, so... But... That's the reason for that one, is that it did remove a few bugs that were problematic edge cases, let's put it that way. Uh, let's see, something else. Uh, I did add in energy and stellar fluid conduits. Oh, that's right, because it doesn't actually show up as an at. Uh, how about I just search a uh, tooltip as what, hashtag? Oh yeah, don't do that in this pack. Oh, sorry. It's going to be a little bit. Uh, it makes JEI freak out if you try searching by tooltips in this pack for whatever reason. I think it's just the sheer amount of tooltips. Alright, so that was literally three minutes. So don't do it. Okay, that doesn't work either. Well, that was for nothing. But uh, let's see. Like stellar, right? Uh, stellar fluid conduits. Your basic uh, max extract 12,000 amphibian millibuckets a tick. Instant fluid transportation. Multiple foods along the same line. Recipe by stellar fluid conduits. There we go. And also there is... Uh, let's just look up conduit in here, right? Uh, let's see, here we go. Yeah, crystalline energy, crystalline pink slime... All the way up to stellar energy conduit. Uh, Two billion a tick. Does require stellar alloy ingots though, which are uh, alloy smelter of nether star, melodic alloy, and clay for two. Uh, the melodic alloy is coarse and popped coarse, sorry, and into steel. So I mean, it's not bad. You do need to have like a wither farm going though. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. Uh, let's see, I added in Benny's, actually. Actually, let's go with Cathedral first, right? Cathedral is a chisel add-on that adds in kind of a Dwarven-ish themed blocks. Uh, there's, like, right here, there's this wonderful worm gear. These vents right here. And up there, those are all from, from Cathedral. And it's basically a lot of basalt-ish kind of themed blocks as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, circles. Never did actually do my elevator shaft here. 
Are we good? All right. And come up here. It also adds in gargoyles, which is always kind of fun as well. I mean, actually, I really like the little model form too. Oh, actually, while I'm up here, like you, you still doing okay? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, no, you're doing fine. Yeah. Need to figure out a way to do, or need to figure out something to do with that. All the stuff. All right, let's head back into the basement here, where ninety percent of my stuff is. Actually, while well, we're up here, another block or another yeah block added, another mod I added in. Well, engineer doors. I can't remember if that was in or not uh, to begin with, but redstone gauges and switches. It's kind of immersive engineering themed, like switches and so on and so forth. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have to like what F eight? Yeah. There we go. I updated the pack and it, for some reason some mods didn't keep the config and moved over, so. Like better foliage, which was doing that. And let's see. Yeah, you got three pages of smelting recipes. Uh, but industrial renewal is industrial themed blocks. Which I mean there's there's a few I've been using. It's actually kind of nice. Also, my vanity set here is from Industrial Noir. A safety helmet, a safety belt. I mean, I look like I belong on a job site. I like it. But Industrial Noir, I mean, it, it does add a few things in, but we'll get back to that in a second. I also added Engineer's Decor. One of the main reasons was actually for this furnace right here, because I love these furnaces. It's just a pass-through furnace. You feed in the items in the front via belt, cooks everything through, and it'll auto-eject out the back, and away you go. And something else I got from there was actually the small tree cutter. It's just a single block tree farm. It only does one tree at a time, a tree that grows right in front of it. And then I have a factory block placer here to replant it, which is also from decor. So, but there's block placers and then there's like an industrial dropper-ish kind of thing. And let's see, I don't think I have anything else like that around here. But yeah, no, there's a, it's, Basically, a bunch of stuff that's in the theme of immersive engineering that like really help it go through with things. Now, bennies. I added bennies in because I wanted like more tree variants. Really, this was the main thing. I mean, it does add like bees and whatnot in resource generation, but honestly, the bees, even at top speed, they are incredibly slow compared to uh, everything else. And I can go away. Inker weapons, by the way, do not despawn after five minutes. They also don't burn in lava. If you want to get rid of them, you have to delete them. Oh, I completely forgot about this setup. Oops. Do you have, you still have like some steel in you? You're still actually cooking. Wow. Uh, yeah, pretty basic. Just RTG powering everything. I got a compressor. I've got a blast furnace, an electrical heater. Compressor is putting compressed air in here, which then turns iron into steel. Uh, let's see, Engineer's Decor also has like uh, the concrete walls and stuff, which is kind of nice. And then I think I did, yeah, there's like some catwalk. Oh, hi. Why do I hear a zombie? Also, why the hell were there four spiders in here? Oh, there's a zombie. Okay. So this is my diesel gen room plus oil refinery and, uh, and coke. Set up. But like this, uh, the catwalk here. This is from Industrial Renewal. Same with this light, the pillar. Uh, let's see, the scaffolding is actually from Immersive here. The scaffolding on the floor. Wait, okay, we got more pillars here. Yeah, there's catwalks, catwalk stairs. But it's kind of nice. It's actually just like a drag and a drop mod too, Renewal is. And it does kind of tie in with any other industrial kind of themed mod. Let's go ahead and up down here. Oh, something else industrial new adds in. Trunk loader. It's quite literally a villager in a box. But he works as a simple 3x3 three three trunk loader. So just enough to keep everything running. And then there's also things like 
gigantic trapdoor in this bunker hatch here. One of the cool things about this is it lets light through when it's open, but not when it's shut. That's just nice design right there. I see other mods I added in. Um, Optifine, obviously. Uh, Vanilla Fix. I think I had to update Vanilla Fix from the version that if it comes with the pack. I can't remember now. It's been a long time. Uh, but yeah, Vanilla Fix just... If nothing else, that way if you crash, it takes you to the login or to the uh, title screen. It doesn't uh, take you to desktop because, well, it's a large pack. It can take a while to load. Especially after I started adding stuff to it. Uh... Immersive posts. It's just a new post for like immersive engineering, wiring, and so on and so forth. The the posts that come with the mod, I, they're dynamic. You can set them to any height you want, and it adds in actually a decent amount of materials to make the posts out of. Also fences, but you use these fence posts to actually make the different posts. But I mean, it adds in iron, gold, copper, lead, silver, nickel, constantin, uh, electrum, and uranium posts, which is kind of cool. I like it. Uh, let's go through the list here. Uh, item zoom. It is a huge help when you're working with chisel blocks. It really is. Yeah, that's good. Let's step it away. Yeah, you're empty right now anyway. Okay. Oh, I had 13 spider eyes from that. All right. Uh, mineral tracker. I don't think it's going to have any of them saved, but if you go to the top uh, topography map, yeah. Doesn't have any. But whenever you do a oh the the core sample drill from immersive engineering, it'll actually pop up an icon over that chunk in the topography map here in J or in, uh, in journey map. And actually that way you can just like mouse over, okay. Well Oh hey, actually here we go. It is. I'm just so zoomed out I can't see it. Uh we got silver. We have nothing oil, uranium, lava. Coal, oil, nickel, and oil. Uh, nothing, nothing. Cassiterite, aka tin. Pyrite, which is iron and sulfur. Silt, which is clay, sand, and something else. But I mean, and it just makes it easier. And there's more samples I did up here. We're going to do things like copper and lava. Pyrite and aquifer and pyrite was like going over each other, so it's pyrifer. Okay. But it's just a handy way to keep track of everything. Especially whenever you can just bring up this and be like, hey, uh, where in the world was like this stuff, right? And now they're not loading in. Figure, right? There you go. Sometimes you just have to switch out and then back into topography mode. Uh, let's see, item zoom. <clears throat> Excuse me, I added just a few fish. Because I have always felt, I mean, ever since I started playing Minecraft back in the day. Dude, go away. Uh, the water is kind of empty. And you can see I've got some hippocampi in here. But there's actually like a fish in there too. Usually there's more than just the one though. But uh, I tried name tagging them and the fish suffocated themselves in the wall. So they're not the brightest. Uh, smooth pond I added in. When, then I never, actually I never, I haven't set it up since last time I updated the pack here. Uh, comforts, I added that in because, well, come on, hammocks, let you skip to nighttime. That's all, it, I mean, that's, you can skip the day and do nighttime, and since we have, you know, astral in this pack, it's kind of a nice thing to have. Uh, let's see. Extra rails, actually I have not done anything with this. I thought I would, but I ended up not doing it. It just adds a few rails in. I mean, it adds a wooden rail, uh, locking, direction, teleporting, and comparator rail. And it's just basically things to help with minecart automation. The thing is, is I'm at the point now where I'm moving so many things around and so much that, uh, yeah, minecarts can't, I won't be, they're not gonna be able to keep up, honestly. That's, that's the main thing. Oop. There we go. Uh, let's see, just a few fish, comforts, uh, Pam's brew, uh, Brewcraft. I had this in because I wanted to play with brewing stuff. Do I actually have any, like... Uh, yeah, I did make some stuff. There's hops you can get from the mod, and then there's the distiller. And then you can make all sorts of different things. Like, you can make, a like, total vodka, ugly avocado gin. 
which is juniper berry, water, total vodka, and spice leaf, right? So you basically turn this into that. And like this, you know, the vodka comes out of potatoes and water and a little bit of wood. So combine it together, throw it in this thing, which has to sit on top of a magma block the distiller does. And it spits out booze. I just thought it was something kind of fun. Uh, no recipe book. Because I don't like that little recipe book button. Uh, pick up notifier. You see on the bottom right here on the screen, it shows you what you pick up. So that way if you pick up a giant mess of items or whatever, it'll let you know. It's kind of nice. Uh, something I missed from like 1.6 and 1.7. I used to be part of actually the thermal core mod. C-O-F-H. But they removed that. Um, I added in uh, macabre bridges and roofs and then never really used them. So, and they look cool and all. I, but I wanted to start, I started going for like a more like industrial theme for my base. Which I've gotten lost in now. Actually, yeah, I'll put this anchor here. And ended up not using him. So, my bad. Let's go ahead and... Oh, they have to do the sound on that fan. That's a pain. Uh, let's see. Too many mobs. I'll say. What the hell's going on over here? There should not be that many things in here. Okay, the little blazels will help out a bit. What is your melt? Oh, why are... Okay, well that would do it. Yeah, I've lost power somehow. Alright. Switch over to generators, would you? And you're still not receiving power. Item conduit, food conduit. Yeah, no, power's definitely coming straight from here. This thing has decided it doesn't... That my power's no good for it anymore. Alright, I will work on that later. Uh, weather farm. Good oh, lord, they spread, don't they? Uh, I was coming up here because I was going to show, like, one of the few cases I would have used Macaws Bridges. And then I went with Catwalks from Industrial Renewal. So. But Renewal, actually, it's got a, a lot of more, like, interesting... Blocks. Oh my god. False. Do not do better cactus. Oh, nasty. Pass the cactus farm. Alright. Next mod. We have dynamic surroundings. What did I just put away? Because it wasn't the cactus. I can't grab the cactus out of my hand. Right. There it goes. Uh, dynamic surroundings, I add things, a few things like the, the damage pop-offs we could see from over here. And uh, ambient noises, so on and so forth. But the reason why I add it to almost every pack I play is individual sound configuration. You can adjust literally any sound you want, by the way. It gets pretty laggy when you load a lot of sounds up in here. But you can pretty much just... Any sound, if you find it annoying or whatever, or just want to turn stuff down, and there's not a, uh, a sound option in that mod, you can crank it down. I think the only thing it doesn't work with is like IC2 because they have their own special sound system. But yeah, no, it's, it's definitely like a lifesaver because otherwise the space would be so flippin' noisy right now that it just wouldn't even be worth it. Um, I added in far seeking streams, which if we look at our map down here. You can see this is actually a stream from streams mod. Which just adds little interesting things to the uh, world. You know, streams, uh, the streams actually like cut through mountains and whatnot, and come out the other side with actual flowing water. Yeah, I love it. Just helps like liven up the world a little bit. Uh, Surge, it's a uh, it's another performance enhancing mod. Helps quite a bit. Uh, lag goggles. I still can't believe I had to add that in. But that way, if something's airing out, whatnot, you can tell. 
Uh, I added in item physics full as well, because, well, I like that better than, like, bobbing items, right? Also, and it's gone, right? You can charge up how hard you want to throw something, and if you wanted to get the hell away from you, you can really get the hell away from you. Wow, okay. Uh, I think part of my TPS issues is actually that mob farm, so I gotta do something about that. So, you are, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, because, for whatever reason, I have 730 billion RF in here, and it's not going anywhere. And then the last mod I added in was actually Infinite Music. It just eliminates the, the super long delay between uh, music tracks playing in Minecraft, and that's it. So it gives it more of a constant soundtrack than, you know, hours and hours of silence. Yeah, I'm like outputting a ton of energy. Oh, wait a second. I'm seeing damage numbers back there now. Output 213,000 input. Yeah, that's working just fine. And the, okay, I have no idea. It just spontaneously started working again. Uh, but yep, that's it for the uh, the mod changes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put at least the mod names in the description, so it'll be a little easier to find. Uh, they are all available on CurseForge. This is my main power draw right now. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.